Hi there, I'm Courtney Williams with the Houston Properties team and welcome to our Mortgage Minute where we bring you burning mortgage real estate questions. We've invited our resident expert, Jackie with Rocket Mortgage. Today we are diving into some of the most commonly asked questions from first time buyers about mortgages and pre-approvals. So grab a comfy seat and let's get started. So our first question is, how much home can I afford and is there an easy way to tell? It depends on the person, obviously. One phrase that I find myself saying often, and I know you probably know exactly what's going to come out of my mouth, is you never want to be house rich and cash poor. Go over what you budgeted. Just because a loan officer says you can afford to spend this much doesn't necessarily mean that you should or that you want to. You always want to stay within your comfortability zone. Now from a just what can you afford from an actual guidelines aspect, mm -hmm. most of the programs are going to allow you to go up to on conventional, we can go up to 55% debt to income ratio. What debt to income ratio means is all of your liabilities that show up on your credit report, such as your car payment, any type of uh, secured loans, um, any credit cards, and then we'll add that to what the new home payment would be. The new home payment that we're going to be considering is the principal, the interest, the property taxes, the homeowner's insurance, any monthly mortgage insurance, as well as if there's any kind of HOA fees. So all of that together is your debt, and we compare it to what your monthly gross income is, which is your income before you pay taxes. And the debt can exceed for a conventional more than 55% of the income. For most FHAs, it can exceed more than 57%. That is super helpful. Jackie, when I'm getting ready to buy a house, what cost should I be thinking about on the loan side? So obviously the one that most people think about is the down payment. So people think, oh, okay, I'm buying a $350,000 home. I want to put down 5%. That's all I need to bring to the closing table. That's not the case. You also need to factor in your closing costs. So there are going to be some minimal lender fees. Uh, at Rocket, we have a $1,275 lender fee. Then if you're going to be paying any discount points for the interest rate, which where rates are right now, most people are paying discount points. That can be anywhere from 1% of the loan, it could be almost 2% of the loan. So that's another fee that you have to factor in. Then you've also got your appraisal fee which an appraisal is normally required. There are some instances when it isn't, but in most cases it is. And that's going to typically be an upfront fee. Uh, right now, appraisals are running anywhere from about six to $700. Uh, then you've also got title fees. Uh, the title company is doing a job. They are going to expect to get paid for their services. And then lastly, your escrows, which are your prepaids. Uh, that is going to include, you always have to buy one year's worth of homeowner's insurance up front because the home needs to be insured, and then your property taxes. Um, now, those are paid in the rears, but whenever you're purchasing a new home, we always collect some buffer months. So those are what are considered your prepaids. Um, now, if you're not escrowing the property taxes, those don't need to be included. But anytime you're getting a home loan, you always have to have that homeowner's insurance. So in addition to the down payment, you know, you can generally think about between three to 5% of the loan amount in additional funds. And Jackie, how much do I need to save for my down payment? You know, that's really up to each buyer. You can put down as little as 3%. Uh, an FHA requires three and a half percent. Um, some people like to put down 20%, which will, will allow them to not have to pay the private mortgage insurance each month. Uh, it could save you a little bit monthly and 
you know, putting down more as a down payment. It's just giving you more equity in a home. Uh, Rocket Mortgage actually has a program where you can put down as little as 1%. It's called our One Plus program. Oh, wow. uh, so it really just depends on each individual buyer, what their goals are, um, where they're comfortable with their down payment, and you know, how much you have in assets. Sounds like you're really able to tailor this to each buyer, is that right? Absolutely, yeah. It's, I mean, purchasing a home, showing people homes is never a one size fits all process. It's going to be different for every single individual. Um, you know, for some people, if you're not able to put down the 20%, maybe you should just put down 3% or 5%. And then maybe you get a big bonus and once interest rates come down you can refinance and apply that big bonus to create more equity in your home there's so many different options and that's why it's really important to speak with a knowledgeable lender who will go over all of those for you i think that's a great recommendation and one last question jackie what documents do i need to get to you to get the process started so actually the process has gotten so streamlined in recent years. Really all that I ask my clients for um, in order for us to get a verified approval, which is a step up from a pre-qualification. A verified approval means that an underwriter has reviewed your credit, income, and assets. So in order to get that, all I ever need from my buyers is their W-2s from the last two years, your most recent 30 days uh, pay stubs and the last two months of bank statements or whatever asset statements you're planning to use for the purchase. I say bank statements. Some people use their retirement accounts, things of that nature. That sounds super easy. It really is. And <laughs> you can actually just upload them through your own portal. You don't even have to email them to me. You can upload them and check off a little task to do list and you know, I get a notification. So like I said, in recent years, it has become much more streamlined. Gone are the days when you have to send in, you know, your blood type, your kids, uh, middle name, <laughs> all of that. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to love technology for that, right? Yes, ma'am, absolutely. <laughs> Well, Jackie, thank you so much. And this wraps up our Mortgage Minute with Courtney Williams and Jackie Sager. And if you would like to know more about Rocket Mortgage and want to start your home buying process, click the link below and we'll see you on the next episode.